I guess the obvious one is what was the reaction there from Herdy after the win? Is it keeping the famous lid on it or are you allowed to enjoy it for a day or two? I, you know, he said to enjoy it, but um, he said um, to you know, just keep the lid on it and um, don't get too caught up in it because you know, they had a few out and um, you know, they had a six day break, so you know, they, they were a bit underdone. And, um, but you know, it was a great effort by the boys and you know, we're just getting ready for next week for the Dreamtime game. What part of it did you enjoy the, the best? What was the for you the effort of the players that, that impressed you the most? I think just our pressure on, on the ball and um, you know, the way the boys you know, stuck to the game plan and um, you know, we, we played consistent for four quarters and you know, was able to put a team away. Anyone else? <laughs> there was a tackle obviously involving um, Prudis that saw him off for the rest of the game. What was your, your thoughts on your actions in that tackle? Pretty straightforward, did you think? Or? Oh yeah, no, I was just I thought it was a, a fair tackle and. Um, yeah, and just took him to the ground. Were you surprised that, that he was concussed? It didn't look like that. Yeah, no, him. I was a bit surprised. I didn't realise he went off. Um, you know, um, you know, after the tackle, he, he kept playing, and I you know, assumed that he was like, okay, and, and he, yeah, went off. So. This weekend is obviously a huge game. Now it always was going to be, but even even bigger now, given that uh, the Tigers have got their tails up as well. Yeah, they had a good win on the weekend, and you know, they've been playing some good football. And you know, it's always a big big game with the Dream Time. Dreamtime game, and you know, I've always been proud to play in it, and um, also you know just the, what the AFL has done for Indigenous people in, in terms of you know, promoting the game as well. It's been really, really good. Just having a uh, brave effort from Stuart Cameron. Yeah, he, uh, he had a little bit of knee trouble last week. How he pulled off after the game? Yeah, no, he's been pretty good. So um, you know, he's a bit sore last week, and um, you know, he trained okay during the week, and yeah, he was able to get up and play, and you know, he played really well too. So you know, it's good having Stuart out there. And just from an injury perspective, uh, who's in line to return this week? Uh, I think we've got um, a couple of boys coming back. Um, I think Hurley may be a chance and also Tate Pears. Michael was pretty close playing on the weekend. Wasn't he a bit upset that he didn't get picked, I think? Oh, I think he's, yeah, he's close. So, um, yeah, they, I think they just wanted to give him one more week and yeah, see how he goes. And, you know, he's pretty good, so hopefully he should be right for dream time. Can you talk us through when the, the siren went or even beforehand and the, the scarves and jumpers are being thrown around in the air? It must be an amazing thing for as a player to be part of that in that atmosphere. Yeah, I guess you know, I was sitting on the bench at the time and um, I sort of looked at the crowd and just... You know, how loud they were, and you know, just the support to have from the crowd at EDA, you know, it's always great, and you know, they're always loud, and you know, it really does get the players up and going. You spoke before about what the AFL has done for Indigenous rights in the game, so to speak. Nicky Winmar obviously was a big part of that. His jumper that he famously held up so many years ago now is up for auction tonight. What did that moment, and that jumper, what does that you know signify to you? Yeah, I guess um, at that time, you know, there was a lot of racism going on in terms of on-field stuff, and. You know, uh, Nicky was able to sort of stand up to it and you know, also to the crowd as well. And, um, you know, he, he, I guess for Indigenous people, you know, it's such a significant moment um, for him to do that. And um, I guess what's happened from that now, you know, we've pretty much stamped out racism on field, um, which is, you know, great. And, you know, the AFL has been a, a, a big support of that and you know, made that happen. You and a few of the other Indigenous boys here maybe put in a bid. Is that, is that something you like to have in the uh, uh, I might bar? leave that to Paddy Wright. He's the one with most of the money. So that, is it just a matter of you know, stopping that enthusiasm early and get on top? Or? Yeah, no, we always um, match up well against Richmond, um, you know, playing in the Dreamtime game, and you know, they've got a pretty good record. So you know, we'll um, you know, hopefully stick to our game plan and hopefully you know, we can get, get a win. Chris Newman's 200th game as well, that'll give them a fair boost as well, something you'll need to get on top of early, I'd think, their emotion. Yeah, no, he's been a great player for the club, and um, you know, he's a really important player, and you know, we need to probably you know, stop his influence in the back line and yeah, hopefully we can yeah, get away with a win. Share a moment with uh, young Alwyn and, and Paddy before the game, just in terms of the significance of the occasion. Oh, I think um, during the week, you know, we'll probably sort of talk about it. And you know, in previous years, we've done stuff with all the players at the club, and um, we'll probably do something this week as well, just to um, you know, talk a bit about the game. Nathan, is there anything else you'd like specifically to see the AFL do to continue to promote and improve uh, Indigenous, uh, I guess, impact within the game of AFL? Yeah, I guess um, I'd like to see. Um, more of a focus on Indigenous health. Uh, not many people know, but Indigenous people have got the worst life expectancy compared to all Indigenous people in the world. And um, you know, that, I remember reading that in, a, in, the, in the Herald Sun. It was just a small article. And you know, for myself personally, you know, I've got a lot of family members that are, are dying in their 40s and 50s. And you know, it's something. You know, we live in such a wealthy country. You know, we really, you know, we shouldn't have you know Indigenous people living in communities in um, second world conditions. So you know, it's something that I'd like to see the AFL do a bit more is just to be able to have. I guess focus on more real outcomes of um, you know, with Indigenous health being a, like a real main priority.